So Mahalakwena Mine is a really special operation. It's um, probably one of the most unique reserves in the world. I think it's a massively challenging environment. We're a platinum mine, but the ore body, it's really just quite a hard piece of rock. We have uh, sometimes rocks that are too large, and that's a challenge. It's a real tough area to work in. Uh, we damage the machines, we break some uh, buckets, hydraulic hoses is popping. The NTBF, we call it mean time between failures, was nine hours. Every nine hours we had to break down on the shelves. It's a tough operation basically. We needed to try and improve the challenges that the equipment must deal with. And, and that's the challenge we're up to. At the Mahalaquina Mine in South Africa, Cat dealer Barlow World Equipment recommended a series of continuous improvement projects to help increase shovel availability and lower maintenance and repair costs. They chartered an agreement with owner Anglo-American and, working together, set the mine on a path toward improved production and lower operating costs. We identified the areas of opportunity, areas like downtime of oil leaks, cost, spare parts, some of them perhaps initially seemed like a great stretch. Some things which, which we'd never been able to achieve in the history of the operation that we knew we needed to achieve. So we set up a team. We set it up, it is about collaboration. It's about various teams coming together with a common objective to deliver a goal. The buy-in was a big challenge. To get everyone to buy in, not only on the, on the customer's side, but on our side as well make sure we all talk the same language, make sure we understand each other when we're done with it. Basically, we're responsible for the maintenance of the shovels. In the early stages, we were fighting fires, basically. We didn't have a plan which we worked on. So with the CI project, we set clear goals to ourselves. Also, uh, delivering on our promise to our customers to give them the most reliable equipment. Uh, with the cheapest running costs and uh, that's where we wanted to go. We started with the planning, um, start planning the people. We also started with the condition monitoring. We've got two condition monitoring guys, monitoring components on heat and on oil flow. We replace them before they fail. If you wait until they fail, then you've got a lot of work. So to be proactive, we catch them before they fail and it's much easier to fix the troubles. I think the maintainers on the ground, they're very committed to Mokolokwena in terms of getting the machines up and running. They've improved tremendously in terms of planning. And then the most, the most important, uh, I think, is the quality execution. We're not fighting fires anymore, no. <laughs> to achieve these goals and reduce downtime on their shovels, Mahalakwena and Barlow World had to first address the issue of access to parts and components. Together, they developed a plan to improve logistics and local parts availability. If the part is not available, the machine goes down, the customer loses money. So there's big efforts going into that, and that's also a big part of our success on site. There were hiccups there. We had an internal transport issue where we delivered once a day, and that gave challenges on its own. We now deliver twice a day, and if need be, we can deliver a third uh, trip into the mine. Yeah, just getting the, getting the parts there on time, that's already a good improvement. It's safe downtime because we can just go and pull it out of the stores area, go down to the pit and install it and have the machine back and up and running. Also, we have a component rebuild area in Johannesburg where we send all our major components out to get the resealed or repair. We don't need to send it overseas and the turnaround time is good. We do full rebuilds, we do partial repairs, uh, we do dealer exchange, we have a big dealer exchange warehouse, we have a, a dedicated parts facility. If a critical machine goes down, uh, we are able to supply components off the shelf for our mining customers. So we've cut down on the lead times, and cutting down on the lead times just to get parts into South Africa cuts down on the mean time to repair. We're running about 90% availability on parts on the site of Mahala Quena Mine. I think it's one of the best in, in South Africa, and I'm sure the customer is also happy about the part supply we have. We worked hard to get the components to make quality possible on site. So Caterpillar components need to be really, really quality components. It's one of the major things that Barlow brought to the table. 
We also had the CI projects on the hydraulic hoses, um, reducing the oil usage on the shovels and making them more successful. We manufacture our own hoses on site, uh, we're saving the customer a lot of money. Uh, the quality of the hoses is very good. And also there's a big focus on fitting hoses correctly the first time to make sure that the hose achieves its expected life. In the early stages, we used 33 liters per hour on the hydraulics. On this moment, we're standing on five liters per hour. We need to harness that opportunity and make sure we keep our customers going in tough times. And, and that's what we are here for. The team is massively proud to be able to improve. The projects are delivered successfully. Where in 2012, we were able to run the, the loading fleet at three hours to a breakdown. We're able to achieve 20 hours to a breakdown currently. It means that a piece of equipment is six times more reliable. In 2012, we were able to load 65 million tons. We're able to load 95 million tons with the same equipment currently, which uh, you know, improved the operations up by 50%. So all in all, a massively successful demonstration of collaboration within the team. It was a couple of initiatives that were well put together, well communicated, um, driven with passion and delivered wonderful value. I think the, the results are speaking for itself. Nobody can deny that. So by the world, they really are part of our team, as, as any of our own employees would be. Um, and I think we certainly lean on their expertise, um, their competence, their diligence to deliver a quality service and product. And we're really proud to be associated with them.